People ask why we clear broom. And could pick any of a thousand places in this park to illustrate, but this is where I'm at at the moment, not too far from the lily prairie, of which I have so many photos. It's mostly native bunch grasses, as you can see, the tall purple needle grass waving in the wind a bit here. Some really big, beautiful ones. And owl's clover, because we're on that Pinehurst Shale, which it seems to favor. And here, right next to one of these beautiful needle grasses, which is the state grass, is a little broom plant. And people say, well, broom's pretty. It seems innocuous. They plant it in their yards. Pretty yellow flowers. I agree. They're, uh, I like them. I even know some songs about them. But over here, that plant becomes, within a year, that plant becomes this plant, which is my height, six feet exactly, and covered with seeds. And from reading some of the papers from people who know the subject, they can have hundreds to, in actuality, literally thousands of seeds per square meter pop off of these guys. They're tough and they're survivors. And as you can see in this seemingly healthy prairie here, it's actually full of little foot-high broom plants, which nitrogenate. So on this soil, which is not that nutritionally great, which means it favors the natives, which are adapted to it, the broom provides its own nitrogen, being a legume. And those little plants become this plant, and become this plant, and then become this plant, which is well over my head, uh, probably eight feet tall, which is a year or two older than the previous one. And you can see it's got its own little colony of seedlings coming up under. And in a very short time, one, two, three years from there, what you have is this. Remnant purple needle grass and broom and broom and broom. down underneath it looks like this and this is what it's like to walk through remnant grasses in there. This is still a pretty young stand. Only a few years old. And as you can see, there are plenty more seedlings coming up. Yeah. So that's what it comes down to pretty much, that or this.